Our electrician, Alan Gallant, has called for an inspection. Hey, Morning, Alan. So I've called Alex Barubi, the wine inspector here in the Alex. town of Lexington. Nice to meet you. So in the past, I've had homeowners ask me to do electrical work without a permit. Absolutely not. You won't. Alex's job is to protect the homeowner. Protect us from what, Alex? Uh, protect us from fire, uh, shoddy workmanship, and also proper mechanical execution of the work. All right. So we're looking at a wall right here. Um, there's going to be a, a countertop with cabinets underneath. Let's start here. What are you looking for? Sure. Well, our wall starts here. So you typically want an outlet within two feet of that break. So location of boxes is one thing? Absolutely. Two feet? Two feet, and then you're going to be looking every four feet thereafter. Huh. And what sort of dictates that spacing? Is this the extension cord? Uh, well, if you put a, an appliance right here, such as a coffee maker, mm. the cord is a two-foot cord. can plug into either outlet without an extension cord. I see. Extension cord is generally a bad idea. Bad idea. Okay. So these boxes are properly placed? They are. Yep. All right. And the other thing, too, that we're looking at, too, is inside the boxes, you get a metal box here. You want to make sure that it is properly grounded mm -hmm. and all the terminations are done properly. And it is? It is. Yep. Nice job, Al. <laughs> so we've got wires running all up the walls through the ceiling. When I walked into this room, this was the wall that caught my eye because it looks like everything electrical is going on. This bank right here has got a ton of wires. Can you um, tell us what the different color wires are for? Sure. The white is 14-2, which is good for 15 amps. Your yellow is a 12-2, which is good for 20 amps. Mm -hmm. And then your orange is good for 30 amps, which is your 10-3. So small, medium, and large. That's correct. And this would be used for what? Just regular outlets? Yeah, regular outlets and lighting in the house. And this one? Uh, usually appliances within the kitchen, such as a coffee maker or a microwave. Right. And then the big daddy? You're probably looking at a dryer. Ah, okay. All right, so they're all there. Um, what do you want to see as an inspector? I uh, just want to make sure that it's properly stapled, neat and workmanlike, mm -hmm. and then, uh, which it is. And what is proper stapling? Uh, well, you're going to have a staple within 8 inches of a box or 12 inches, depending on the connection of the box, mm -hmm. and then every 4 and a half feet after. So four and a half feet. So you overstaple, Alan. We tend to overstaple, Kevin. And here's the actual staples we use. You can see one is red and one is blue. Yeah. The red is actually used for two cables, and the blue is only for one cable. Oh, I see. And another thing you'll notice down below here, we're using nail plates. And that's a physical protection. You know, the sheet rocker comes in, they're looking to go quick. They're not looking for wires. Yeah. They, you know, they're driving into your wire, and next thing you know, you have a problem at finish. I see. So that's why we use nail plates. You know, the sheet rockers don't like you either, pal. <laughs> that's OK. <laughs> OK, so this wall looks pretty good to you, It Alex? does look fine, yep. All right, so we've got the location of the boxes. We've got the wires. We've got lights up here in the ceiling. Uh, we've got some recess. And Al, what are the pendants here? Two pendants over the island here, correct. All right, Alex, what are you looking for? I'm making sure that the boxes are properly grounded and they also have a proper mechanical connection to the box. Right now the wire is going through the button connector. A button connector being what? Let me show you here Kevin. You see it in the center of our metal box which we in turn take a Romex and sleeve it through like so. Mm -hmm. And now you can see it's nice and tight. Oh look at that. Okay. So just like the staple we want to make sure that these wires don't pull or tug and that's not coming out of the box. Correct. Also protects the wire too from chafing from the metal box. So that's what you're looking for up in the ceiling. Correct. They're all in place. They are all in place. All right. So at the rough electrical stage uh, you're going to sign off? Absolutely. So we did all right. We did very right. well. Nice job guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.